Okay, so that article was really helpful for us in figuring out a little bit more about how these producers are making these energy storage molecules. So it sounded like producers were things like plants and grass, um, things that are not eating anything else. We have another category called a consumer. And we heard in the article that there's kind of two types. The primary consumers are things that are the consumer population of the plants. So for example, we can see some kind of pictures here. That would be things like maybe rabbits um, and other organisms that are eating things like grass and plants. The secondary consumers are organisms that need to eat in order to get energy storage molecules. So these secondary consumers are actually eating other animals, right? These would be consumer populations that we think of more of, of as predators. Um, so I see here like a wolf, for example, or maybe a bear, right? They are eating things that are eating the plants that make those energy storage molecules. So we really got to find a little bit more out in that article about what we were seeing in our producer cell. What do these show about how photosynthesis is done? We saw in the digital model that it seemed to be something to do with this chloroplast inside of the producers. We saw carbon dioxide coming in and water also coming in um, and then them coming together in a little poof and uh, the, the oxygen and the energy storage molecule appeared. Now the article kind of slowed that process down for us and led us to see what was really happening, that a chemical reaction was taking place. The carbon dioxide and the water are reactants coming in and in this chloroplast, kind of this factory, um, sunlight is coming in, giving energy for this reaction to occur, where the atoms are rearranging uh, the carbon into glucose and also uh, other atoms into oxygen. So make sure that you can pause for a moment and think about what is a a summary of what we have figured out. Photosynthesis is done by producers. This process requires energy from sunlight and carbon dioxide from abiotic matter. Photosynthesis makes glucose and oxygen for an ecosystem. So here is a summary of what we figured out about where these energy storage molecules are coming from. They're made from the carbon that comes from carbon dioxide in the air. Those producers take it in um, and move that carbon into biotic matter, making those energy storage molecules. And we call this, this process, this chemical reaction, photosynthesis.